world. I am Sabrina and well it's been a while since I did a video and my room has changed quite a bit. Um, today's video is not going to be about my room and how it has changed. Uh, that'll be a future video. Today's video is something a little bit different that chances are most of you probably have never thought of. So today's video is going to be about a misting system that I made myself with just two things that I bought off of Amazon and something I had lying around the house. So believe it or not, this whole misting system for all my geckos cost me about f maybe $50 to do in total. Um, all I needed was a power head, an old bucket that I had that I was using for just to have my uh, pre-made water mixed in and a misting system that I got off of Amazon that is regularly used for plants. So the items that I used, I'm going to either sh post pictures here and it's going to slide over, or if I can, I will somehow put them on the screen. I'm not quite sure how to do this whole video thing. I'm still trying to figure that out. So it'll either be here or somewhere up here. So these are the two items that I ended up using, the misting system and the power head. Now for this misting system, it did come with its own tubing, but I found it quite stiff and hard to move. So if you have a lot of tanks like I do on a rack, it makes it a little bit harder to try and set it up from one tank to the next. So I decided to opt out for some airline tubing, which 25 meters of it cost me I think six dollars and fifty cents so that's just optional if you want to or not. So the little pieces that came with the misting system are just little things like this and you connect the tubing oops, from one side and then the other and you just connect them from each. I personally needed to extend the pieces because they didn't fit in my tanks perfectly so these just come apart like this all I did was put some tubing in the one part like so as much as I need it and then I stretched it around this little piece here it took a little bit of working but I ended up ma making it work for most of the tanks so these little pieces come with it works out pretty well and you get Oh geez, I think you get like at least 20 or more, so depending on how many tanks you have, you can either put one in, so like my small tanks down here, the uh, Exoterras, the 12 by 12 by 18s I only put in one, and it works really well. Um, you can't really see very well, but up at the top I have an 18 by 18 by 24 and a 16 by 16 by 24. One is Exoterra and then the other one is um, National Geographic. For those two, I needed to add three of these, but it seems to be working well and I have a bunch of spares still. So once I set up the extra middle tank, I will have a bunch to add to it as well. Now I'm gonna show you how I actually set it up on my rack system. It might be a little bit different for yours as you might have only one tank, you might have multiple tanks, and you might have them set up differently than I do. Sorry if the lighting's horrible, I'm kind of at the top rack here. I'm on a step stool and I'm in pajam pajamas. Yep, it's a lazy day. What can you say, right? So on the top rack here, I have the jug of water. Inside you can see the power ahead. Um, the green spout that is on it actually fit perfectly on one of the bits that came with the power head and it works perfectly so in total like I didn't have to buy any extra pieces I didn't have to add any silicone to keep it, the airline tubing in place to add the water like it, it just worked out perfectly surprisingly enough so as you can see we have the airline tubing coming out power cord for down below which I'll explain after so here, airline tubing goes up to the tank here. Not sure if you can see in the back there, but we have them all connected. And then if we go inside my tanks, I have one right here, another one right here, and then one over on this side. As I said, I have three in each of these big tanks.
So I could show you this one, but you can see the two of them there, and then the other one is up there. I don't want to open the door because BG is chilling right there. He has some stuck shed on his toes, which we will be dealing in another video that I will be posting in the future. Coming down from this tank, I then have airline tubing going through all the back of this tank over to the other side. So once I have this tank fully set up with my other crusty geckos in it, I can add the... Um, misters to it so right now i don't have to worry about having this tank wet when there's nothing in it um we will go down here in the back we have two in daisy's tank which i'm not sure if you can see them or not there's one on this side and then there's another one hidden over there I'm not sure how well you can see it but it is back there hello daisy you look very grumpy today <laughs> anyway, as we keep going, there is another airline tubing right here that keeps going to the others. This tank I still missed by hand because it doesn't have an opening in the back to be able to add the Mr. 2. Um, then we have one in the back there. Hello, crawler. All my tanks have the names on them, by the way. Um, and then, again, in the back. And, well, hello there. <laughs> and again in the back there. So, for all the tanks, I think I used a total of, I think, maybe 15 of these. So there's some extra pieces, obviously, um, that I can still add. Or if I had more tanks, I could add more to it. Um, I just found this probably the cheapest way instead of going to buy a uh, Moon Sun uh Reptile mister for all now, my tanks. Going back to the middle rack, I'm not sure if you can see this extension cord or not right here, but it has a smart plug into it, which powers my power head that is in this jug. By the way, this isn't salt water, it is just an old jug I had that I never took the label off of. So the power head that is in here is powered off of the smart plug that's hiding down there. And it is powered on my phone or my Google Home Mini that's right there. So I can tell it what to do and it will miss the whole rack system if I want it to. And it can turn it on and off, and I can do it as well through my phone. So this is just a picture of the app that I use. You can see how I have some of them on and some of them off. So if I'm away, I can miss the geckos as long as I have somebody to come in and feed them every second day. I can do the rest myself. So as I said before, this total thing cost me about maybe $50, because the power head I think cost 16 if I remember correctly. Um, and the airline tubing would cost six dollars. The uh, and then the misting system that I got on Amazon cost I think it was twenty four or twenty six dollars. Um, so and then if you want to add the smart plug to it, then that cost. I personally got it at Costco, which came in a two pack, and it was twenty four dollars. So one plug came is like ten dollars. So in total, it costs maybe around $50, which compared to a moon sun system, which is usually anywhere from $150 to $200, I think it was a pretty good, you know, alternative. And this way I can actually control it myself. So if there's a very humid day, I don't have to worry about changing the timer or anything like that. I can also set a timer on the uh, app itself that connects to the smart plug. So. In the end, I find it very, very, very useful. I've used it quite a bit. Um, the only thing is, is that if I don't, if I leave it on for too long, it'll obviously cause floods and high humidity. That's why some of my tanks have the Eco Earth in them. And then Daisy's has the paper towel just because she lays eggs and I don't want to end up having her end up breeding in the future with one of them, one of my males, and then end up having eggs and then crested geckos just popping out of the ground. So. The idea is to leave her on the paper towel, but have everybody else on the uh, eco-earth in the future. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Hopefully, this somewhat helps. 
All right, so I think that's it for today. Um, I will hopefully be posting more videos in the future. If you like this kind of video for the DIY misting systems and maybe a fogger or anything else that I can think of, leave comments down below. If you liked it, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more future videos, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, see you guys next time.